high levels of lead in school drinking water. It's an issue CBS 13 has investigated for years, and we've learned schools found lead in drinking water but chose not to tell the parents. Well, lawmakers are now funding a bill to protect students. But a CBS 13 investigative reporter Julie Watts warns safe water in schools is not yet a sure bet. Yeah, there is some concern at the state capitol that even though lawmakers fully funded lead testing in schools in the state budget they passed last week, the governor does have the authority to remove that funding. And if he does, he'd likely then veto the bill because there's no funding in the state budget. One out of five California schools. You may remember back in 2019, more than one in five California schools tested positive for detectable levels of lead in school drinking water. But CBS 13 reviewed internal school emails that indicated some schools that did find lead didn't notify parents or fix the tap. And years later, many of those taps are still in use. So we have to assume that there could be potential harm in any one of these other faucets. Assemblymember Chris Holden worries parents and students may not realize the risk at their schools. Pediatricians stress there is no safe level of lead for young kids, which is linked to learning disabilities and developmental delays. He introduced legislation supported by health advocates and opposed by water agencies that would require testing of all school faucets and would lower the lead action level from 15 parts per million to five requiring schools to notify parents and immediately shut down any faucets or fountains that test positive for lead. We tend to write checks we can't keep and then we let people down. Now the governor's made it clear he will veto any bill that is not already fully funded in the budget. It's, it's, it's better to be more honest with folks what we think we can do and what we can't do. But Holden's lead testing bill has so much support, the legislature agreed to fully fund the lead testing in the budget they passed last week. Chris, does this mean the bill is a sure bet? No, there's no guarantee because budget funding is fluid. Lobbyist and law professor Chris McKaylee explains there are ongoing negotiations between the governor and the assembly and senate leaders. Our governor, as opposed to, say, the president of the United States, has line item veto authority, or sometimes called the blue pencil authority, wherein he can eliminate or reduce any appropriation. And even after the governor signs the budget, lawmakers could pass a trailer bill or budget bill junior to remove funding anytime. The budget that was enacted last June has actually been changed a half a dozen times based upon changing priorities for the governor and legislative leaders. So the question remains, how much of a priority is safe drinking water in schools? Now today we asked the governor, the speaker and the pro temp offices, how important is lead testing in schools and is this line item up for negotiation? They didn't provide a response before our deadline, but we will keep you updated.